That was nice. So glad you decided to go it alone, <laughs> Mr. Monson. Shut up and shoot! I want the pot. I want the pump action shotgun. Thank you. Flashlight. Damn turn of the century wiring! Hang on out! I'll get them working again, I promise! On the light, man. Back in the game, yes. God. Oh, did I do that? Rock and roll capital of America. Might as well get everything I can. Hey, Al! This way to the farm! Nice house. See, bestseller, no reason to worry. Your cutout's good as new, right where I left it. I'll come back for it once we have the place secured. Yeah, that's been my biggest worry all this time. I'll solve all day long. I always intend 
Gods and Moody. It makes me very attractively <laughs> mysterious. Right now, I'm just standing here because I need my best friend Barry to carry me. But that's okay. I can just take him for granted. I think I see what you did there. <sighs> yeah, it was pretty good. You want me to do my imitation of Barry Wheeler? No? Thought so. Wait, do I have... Wait a minute. What? Oh, okay. Wow! <laughs> you look at that thing, Al? They really went all out with this Viking crap, didn't they? Sleep. We all spend uh, a few of our dreams in soft and soft and Hey, remember when I got you that gig? Your dreams first real writing job. What got you started? Was this one of your episodes? No, nah, probably not. Yep, thought so. What do I do? Never mind. The Viking boat looked imposing, almost like a battering ram. Why does everything get all angry at me? Found out why. Hello. Coming from something, something's happening here. Yeah, what's that? What? Can't you hear that? Oh, God, help us. It's an alarm clock. Oh, it's you. It's you. What the hell? I don't like you. You don't even do anything. Wait, what? How did he get over here? <sighs> Crazy. Wow! Those geezers had quite a production going on. Oh, you know what, Al? If we make it through this alive, I'm gonna start representing them. Yep, sell this stuff online, maybe get a reality show going, release a new single. Be careful, Al! Thanks. Thanks for your concern. Got a lot of shotgun ammo though, so don't worry about me. I'm good. Keep your eyes open, okay? Shotgun. Shotgun. 
Sounds like there's someone else upstairs. Hello? More upstairs? know I tend to work through the night, but I'm not the only one. Deputies Mulligan and Thornton are taking a couple of moments off their busy schedule to join me here in the studio. Boys, how busy are you? Dear friends, I'm almost here as well. Then that keeps you in business. Pretty busy, yeah. You're probably gonna talk about me. It had to be the Anderson's home on the other side of the field. It wasn't far now. I wasn't worried about trusting the ramblings of two burned-out geriatric wrecks. They had the goods. like it. Hmm. All of that just to open up a silo. I guess we can open it now. Nope. I think we're gonna have to work together to open this gate out. It's pretty heavy. <laughs> hey, Pushes I think that's the farm on the other side of the field. We're almost there. This farm is a crazy place for crazy people. We should feel right at home then. Valhalla. Come on, one more gate. Yeah, I got a brother just open that. That does not look promising. The old gods know the truth. Let me in. Lights are out. I guess we better check the fuse box. The power downstairs was out, but I was sure I could fix that at the fuse box. Where is the fuse box? Probably not here. Probably 
Get out of the way. All the way downstairs, right? That is not downstairs. Alright, and you guys are going upstairs. Aha! Can you hear that, Al? Music? Of course. We need to find where it's coming from. That's the message the Andersons talk about. That's the whole reason we're here. Lady of the Light? Oh, that's gotta be... What's your face? The crazy lamp lady from the town. Cynthia Weaver. Right! Must be! How? Okay? We need to find Cynthia Weaver. We'll stay here for the night and head back to town as soon as it gets light. Hey, Al. Lots of hours before dawn. Might as well get some rest. And by rest, I mean drunk. Come on, Barry. This is... Yeah. What the hell? <laughs> Jesus. Find her, right? Even though you're a crazy bastard, I'm gonna stick by you, no matter what, ever, Al. Sure, like a brother. I'm a writer, goddammit. Correct. If I just wanted to, I could write ten books a year. And and they'd be the best books that year. No, you couldn't. That's right, I couldn't. But I could, because I'm a writer. What? What do they put in this stuff? I feel like my brain is coming out of my nose. <laughs> I'm gonna get the recipe off those coots and be a, a, a booze millionaire. I just miss her, Barry. I just want her here with me. I know, Al. I know. It's gonna be okay. We're gonna make it okay. I'm tall. Alan! Alan! Where are you? Alan! Alice, I'm coming. It's all right. I'm coming. No! It was a crazy drunken no! dream. And yet, it was more than that. It was the truth. A suppressed memory unearthed by the Andersons' moonshine. I was there, an out-of-body observer. This was the night Alice and I had arrived at Bright Falls. The night Alice had disappeared. I had a chance to find out what had happened. I remembered being surprised to see the cabin dark. Alice would have never turned Alice? the lights off. Alice! I remembered thinking I caught a glimpse of her form underwater, sinking into the darkness. Jump! <sighs> Diving after her was the last vague memory I had of that night. After that, the next thing I could remember was waking up behind the wheel of the crash car and finding the first pages of the manuscript. I couldn't find her in all that blackness. I must have thought she drowned.
Can I go too? Alice. Jagger had Alice, and so she had me. been easy prey. Look at the cabin. Is there someone in the window? Alice? Maybe she didn't travel after her. Maybe she's inside. Alice! Yes! The dark presence had touched me. She had dug her nails into my brain and used me. Made me her puppet. Maybe upstairs in the study. Alice! Yes, that's where she is. You can apologize. Alice! You'll laugh oh. at the whole thing together and put it behind you. Alice! She's not here. You were foolish to think so. No, she's dead. She drowned. No, no, no! It's your fault your wife is dead. You are guilty. All she wanted was to help you right. You killed her. No! Oh, hush. There's still hope. Cauldron Lake is a special place. Here, you have the power to change things. She wanted you to write. I will tell you what to do. You can write her back. The story will come true, and all will be well again. She had Alice, and the manuscript was the ransom for her. Yes. I'll write. I'll fix it. I'll bring her back. it all now. In the dark, I'd written for days, a week, almost a complete manuscript of a novel entitled Departure. Jagger had been my editor, whispering in my ear, making sure that the unfolding story would make her more and more powerful. I thought I was saving Alice. Even with the cobweb she put in my head, some part of me had been aware enough to write my escape into the story, to bring a light into the cabin to release me before I could finish to interrupt the horror story before the ending, where darkness consumed everything and everyone. Zane was weak and far away, but I had written him into the story and his light had been enough to set me free. It isn't here now. I'm here because it was written. I brought the light to set you free. You must hurry. You will know I'm here. It will be back soon. It stole the skin of my barber a long time ago. She looks so old. I had woken up, confused and groggy. My mind consumed by darkness and fear. All I could do was to escape. spent in the cabin had taken its toll. I was barely conscious and fading fast. It had to have cost Zane terribly, thrown him even deeper into whatever dark place he now haunted. But he had managed to weaken the dark presence, kept me safe that night. That's right, James Joyce. It's your fault, and you're gonna pay for it. The 
There's an old town road with mystery of Tom the poet and his muse, and a magic lake which gave a light to the words the poet used. Now the muse she was his happiness, and he rhymed about her grace and told the stories of treasures deep beneath the blackened. Um. 